it's been a long week and it's been a while since I've talked to everybody. Um, my kitchen's a mess right now. This week's been a mess. My face is all broke out. I'm just like, and I cut my hair last week. Well, I didn't cut my hair, but I had it cut. And I'm remembering why I don't go short. Anyways, that's what's going on. Last week also, my husband had, yeah, I can see how short it is in the back again. Anyways, last week my husband had uh, surgery on his neck to, back here to remove um, a cyst, and it's been a nightmare. Um, so he had the stitches out on Tuesday, just a week after the surgery, and within 30 minutes of the stitches out, it busted open. And so we've been dealing with that, and he got restitched today, and he's sleeping right now. So all the plans I had for leftover Easter ham dinner recipes, inspiration, how to use your Easter ham, they've gone out the window after that first night. Um, I've been trying to just do things that are easy, um, just trying to get work done and everything. So tonight I'm going to show you um, my Instant Pot Spaghetti. It's easy peasy. I do everything in an instant pot and then it can cook while I'm doing other things. So that's what we got going on. But instead of spaghetti, I think I'm going to use some ziti. So more like baked ziti in the instant pot just to mix it up a little because I'm kind of tired of spaghetti. But that's what I'm thinking. So anyways, here's my instant pot spaghetti. With the Instant Pot on saute, I'm just going to put in a ground, a pound of defrosted ground beef. And this is from the butcher, but when you get a cow butchered, usually it comes in bags like this. But our, the butcher I bought this at, because we're out of um, cow in the freezer. Um, this one pound package is like this. So that's why it's in a package, not, you know, in a tray like you get at the store. One of my favorite tools, I can't remember where I got it at. It's Ikea or Silverdor City or where, I don't know. But we're gonna let this Start sizzling, it should take a minute. And we're just gonna saute it in this pan. And I'm gonna just get it around there so it can all have a good even. So while that's doing that, I am going to dice up an onion. So can you hear that? It's starting to do its thing, right? All right, I'm gonna flip you around. And here I am. And I'm gonna dice up a small to medium onion. We like to have onion in our spaghetti. Okay, so while the ground beef is starting to do its thing, I'm just going to dice up a small onion that I peeled, a white onion. This rough chopping. I'm not doing perfect dice or mince or anything like that.
All right. All right, the ground beef is over here brown nicely. So we've got some spurs. So it doesn't get stuck too bad. Because we don't want to burn notice, right? And we're cooking. That's my worst. Right here. So that ground beef has started browning. I'm going to add to that. We're going to let this finish. Browning the ground beef and sauteing that onion down. We can have a nice soft onion. And then I'll add some minced garlic to that here shortly. Just give that a few more minutes for it to do its thing. So like I said, it's all going to be in the Instant Pot, so we don't have to really dirty up the kitchen anymore. We don't have to pots and pans, babysit it. It's going to do its thing while I'm doing other stuff. All right, come back once again. I got back to the fat. I got some Kotapi. It was a 16 ounce bag, so it's like 8 ounces. Like I said, I want to change tonight from spaghetti and this. But if you were to do spaghetti, you would just break your spaghetti and lay it in here on top of your meat and onion. Okay, so I've got that. And I'm going to put, I don't know, maybe two teaspoons of Italian seasoning on top of that. And then I'm going to take a jar of just Walmart brand traditional pasta sauce, pour it in on top of that. I'm going to then take this jar and I'm going to fill it with water and shake it up to get rest of that goodness because you need a jar of water and I'll be right back. Alright, I turned off the saute feature and I put a jar of filtered water um, in the spaghetti jar, shook it up, and I'm going to just Pour that over the top. Of course, I saved my jar, so I'll put that over there, take the label off. And I'm just gonna make sure everything is good and covered because you want everything covered. And I'm not gonna continue to stir it. So everything's good and covered in my Instapot. No pasta's peeking over the top. I'm gonna put my lid on. sure it's on ceiling. I'm going to make sure it's on ceiling. And then, ooh, I made a mess there. I'm going to take it and I am going to put it on for 10 minutes. And I'm going to let it come into pressure and then I'm going to let it instant release and sit there for a few minutes, about five. And it'll come in and stir everything up. You could also have added a can of crushed tomatoes or tomato diced to it. That's always a nice addition um, um, to crock pot spaghetti or crock pot pasta. Um, but when we come back, I'll show you the finished product. And I think we're gonna probably serve this with chopped salad and just some bread tonight. All right, so this is what the um, Instant Pot Spaghetti Capitoppi looks like when it's done. Um, and I'm going to serve this in bowls with side salad, maybe put some mozzarella cheese or Parmesan cheese on top, and then with some crusty bread or just some soft garlic bread and butter. And that's what's for dinner tonight. So easy, few ingredients, um, I think what, 20, 25 minutes top from start to finish. And uh, there's enough for dinner tonight, lunch tomorrow, and it'll be good and filling and just a good comfort food. Let me know what you guys think.